Hello, I'm Jack Rexsiegel, Center Director of the University of Florida Gulf Coast Research and Education Center. The mission of the center is to develop and disseminate new scientific knowledge and technologies to help our growers be competitive in commercial agriculture. We also work diligently on ways to help maintain and enhance the quality and sustainability of our natural resources and agriculture. Our growers continue to face difficult challenges that threaten their livelihood. From new pests and diseases that attack their crops to environmental challenges such as freezes and drought. We have a diverse group of faculty with expertise in different areas that work together to bring solutions to our growers. This video will highlight some of the research being conducted at our center. The University of Florida Gulf Coast Research and Education Center is a 475 acre facility located in the heart of Hillsborough County. It houses more than a dozen of UF's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences researchers who work in a variety of disciplines. Their mission is to develop science-based information and technology that will help the Florida agriculture industry compete in a global marketplace. The center features acres of research fields, along with state-of-the-art greenhouse and laboratory facilities. Here, researchers work on breeding new, disease-tolerant varieties of fruits and vegetables. They're also developing new treatments to control the spread of weeds, pests, and diseases. And they're educating homeowners and commercial landscapers about the proper use of fertilizer. The goal is to find sustainable solutions that maintain and preserve the natural resources of Florida. A main focus for researchers at the center is developing new varieties of crops for commodity growers. Every year, crops like tomatoes and strawberries bring millions of dollars into the Florida economy. But growers are under constant attack from foreign markets, new diseases, and variable weather conditions. Plant breeder Vance Whitaker is working to create new varieties of strawberries designed to keep this $400 million a year industry in business. My main goal is to produce uh, strawberry varieties that are going to make the Florida strawberry industry sustainable. So that means that I need to produce varieties that have excellent fruit quality, flavor, shelf life, um, health attributes. Uh, but also have uh, the ability to withstand all of the environmental challenges such as diseases, freezes, heat, uh, in order to, to help make that farmer profitable as well. The center's location allows researchers to work closely with each other and with industry professionals. They tell us what they need, what their problems are, and, and we communicate with them regularly and so we're able to focus on the problems that most concern them. Tomato breeder Jay Scott faces similar challenges, developing new varieties for Florida's $500 million a year tomato industry. Scott developed a new variety called Tasty Lee that is making it easier for growers to turn a profit. The variety has the ability to produce marketable fruit under a variety of conditions and an improved flavor. People talk about tomato flavor a lot, but a variety doesn't have a taste, a variety has a range of tastes. And Tasty Lee has the ability to produce a good flavor under a wide range of conditions. But breeders still need to improve the disease resistance of Tasty Lee. For years, growers have fought the deadly diseases attacking the tomato crop with copper treatments, but the bacteria are developing resistance to the copper. Plant pathologist Gary Vallad is working with chemical compounds that can boost a tomato plant's natural ability to fight disease. Right now what we're trying to do is, is look at our alternatives and try to marry up those alternatives with other practices such as the use of biological pesticides, the use of various cultural control practices to make a more sustainable system. Soil and water scientist Amy Schober is worried about nutrient runoff in urban landscapes particularly polluting our water bodies, both our springs and our surface water bodies with nitrogen and or phosphorus. And this is occurring mainly from the use of fertilizers to enhance growth and quality of turf and ornamental landscape plants. 
Her research shows that adding organic matter to the soil can greatly reduce the need for fertilizer. She is using her connection with the University of Florida Extension Service to bring this new information to communities throughout the region. The Extension Service is a network of experts that use UF research to educate the public. We really have a strong link with the county extension offices in the region. You can, on any given day, find one of the county agents here visiting with the faculty or the staff or out here helping with research projects. The center also hosts several field days and the annual Florida Ag Expo and the Florida Berry Expo to educate growers on the latest information in their industries. We have a team environment here. We have horticulturalists, pathologists, um, breeders for these crops and so we're able to take a problem, take a team approach to it to solve that problem. So we're very problem oriented and because we're problem oriented I think that means we're very industry oriented. Our goal is to answer questions. I mean people have real questions and real problems and if we can answer those questions and find the solutions to those problems for our clientele groups then we've really done our job.